So this is why I haven't done a new Lennard review since Aliens Collection. New and upcoming toy company, Lanyard Toys, has contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted to review prototypes for their first toy line, The Crops. Let's check them out. The 2020 Lanyard Toys Crops figures include the Agricultural Commandos, Trucker, the Leader, Dirt Dog, the Melee Master, and Bubba, the Muscle. Then there's the Industrial Raiders, Colonel Victor Von Cole, the London Terror, Black Blizzard, and Drought. There's even two vehicles in the line, the Battle Bull Attack Tractor, and the Steel Weevil, Industrial Dozer. Bazooka Obsessed. Let's look at the packaging. We got the super cool Crops logo. Really digging it. I love the cross shovels. Then we got the Lanyard Toys logo on the opposite side. Then there's the tagline, Farm for Justice for the Agricultural Commandos and Industry for Progress for the Industrial Raiders. Underneath that is Trucker, the leader, sitting on the windmill. And for the baddies, we got Colonel Victor Von Cole next to one of his factories. Then there's the figure's name, Dirt Dog, and he's part of the Agricultural Commandos. Or Black Blizzard, he's part of the Industrial Raiders. Finally is the figure with the accessories on a farm background. Let's look at the back of the packaging. First, there's a small blurb about the crops under the logo. Axel Rohde, Rufus Aromaz, and Hank Tibideo grew up together in the same neighborhood and joined the special forces after high school. Afterwards, they bought a plot of land where they began to farm. Meanwhile, Colonel Victor Von Kohl tracked down some oil to the veteran's farm. He tried to buy the land from them, but they didn't want to sell their farm. Von Kohl decided he would use force against them, but they had a surprise for him. They were there to farm for justice. They are the crops. At the bottom is the same story in a different language. If you ask me, maybe a bio card would have been cooler. And of course, we got one of my favorite things, a cross cell. And you can see what you need to collect them all or harvest them all. How about the vehicles? The front is a lot of the same old, same old, but in box form. I love the package design. It's very clean and to the point. They're finally here, the Crops Collection. The Leader, codename, Trucker. Melee Master, codename, Dirt Dog. The Muscle, codename, Bubba. The Water Trooper, codename, Drought. The Desert Commander, codename, Black Blizzard. The London Terror, codename, Colonel Victor Von Cole. And don't forget their action-packed vehicles, the Battle Bull and Steel Weevil, with driver figures, each sold separately. The Crops by Lanyard. Okay, finally, we can take a look at these prototypes. They all have the same nine points of articulation. Head, shoulders, elbows, legs, and knees. Let's start with the Agricultural Commandos. Axel Rohde, aka Trucker, the leader of the pack. He comes with a machine gun and a shovel. He has black hair. He's wearing overalls, a holster, straps, and some knee pads. He also has gloves and black boots. Rufus Aromaz, aka Dirt Dog. He's the melee guy. This dude comes with a pickaxe and machete. He has a red and white hat reminiscent of Terry Bogard from King of Fighters. 
Hey, come on, come on! He also has some black shades. Or is that just shadow for his eyes? He also has black hair. Dirt Dog is wearing a blue shirt, gloves, a watch on his right wrist, dark pants, with a holster, straps, and black boots. Hank Tibideo, aka Bubba. He's the muscle, and the driver of the Battle Bull. The accessories that come with this set are a machine gun, flashlight, and two hay bales. Bubba has brown hair in a pompadour and chops. He's wearing a yellow shirt with a blue vest with yellow accents and gloves. He has dark pants, a pouch, knee pads, and black boots. The Battle Bull has lights and sounds. The light is on the front, and when you press the button on the port side of the attack tractor, the engine comes to life. The top side of the tractor has a machine gun that can swivel, and you can even feed the ammo belt. Now we'll check out the Industrial Raiders. Colonel Victor Von Cole, the London Terror, is the boss antagonist. He comes with a pistol and a knife. Von Cole has white hair and a dark strand, dark red shades, and a white goatee. He has a red shirt with a dark jacket, dark pants, and red knee pads and black boots. Black Blizzard comes with a machine gun, backpack, and time bomb. He has a dark hat, brown hair, and red bandana, red undershirt, dark button-up shirt, red suspenders, dark pants with straps, red knee pads, and black boots. Duncan Smith, aka Drought, comes with a steel weevil. The accessories that come with the set are a machine gun, binoculars, and a backpack. Drought has a red hat and brown hair. He has some web gear and tons of pouches, dark pants, and tall red boots. The Steel Weevil has a very cool design. It has a giant wheel in the rear and treads on the sides. The front has a cow catcher and a gun on top. I think this is a cool toy line. I can't say very much about the quality of the paint since these are prototypes. But it's definitely a unique idea. Military farmers? Ugh. I want to thank Lanyard Toys for the chance to check out the crops. Stay tuned for more reviews. The idea has been running around my head for a little over two years. It was really fun working with Grizz Geek, Sabrina Sugar, and Dan Classic. Coming up with the ideas and preparing the toys was surprisingly enjoyable. I'm sure the core fans enjoyed Trucker a lot. Let me know what you think of the crops. Thanks again. <laughs>